feel great. I feel great, to be honest. Um, I feel very humbled. You know, it's a humbling experience. I'm grateful, very grateful for this whole experience. Um, yeah, that's all I can say at the moment. This is your first major tournament. Uh, there's still one more. That's all I'm thinking of. There's still one more game. I think that's all anyone's thinking of. Obviously, it's a great night, great occasion, but there's still one more game. So, yeah. What did you make of the performance? It felt like it was the best performance of the team in the whole One off for sure. I think we definitely improved a lot um, from those earlier games on the ball. Uh, defensively, we've tried to stay as resilient as possible, which the lads have done. Um, it's a bit more fluidity in, the, in, the, in our play and the attack. So, yeah, really proud of the performance. It was so open. Chances at both ends. It was a great game to watch if you were neutral. Yeah. Not neutral. What was it like to be involved in? It was fun. It was good. That's what you play football for, you know. These 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 amazing games, these tough teams, opponents. So yeah, it's amazing. And, and you've got one huge game left in this tournament. Yeah. Now. You have to turn your attention pretty quickly to Spain. Mm -hmm. And you saw your mile in this rugby goal last night. Yeah. How dangerous is he? We respect the whole team. The whole team's dangerous. He's a fantastic player. Um, They've got good players all across the board, so do we, so it'll be a good game, for sure. Do you have the belief that you can win it now? <laughs> you, you know we do. You know, they do, but you know we do as well, so yeah, it'll be a great, it'll be a great game. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, Sorry. Thank you. Oh, just a bit. Thank you, Tim. European Championship Finals. I can see the smile on your face. What does it mean to you? Oh, it's special, really special. Um, it's not easy, you know, to go back to back in, the, in, this, uh, in this tournament against the best teams in Europe. It's, it's really tough, a lot. Takes a lot out of you physically, a lot out of you mentally. Um, but yeah, we found a way, and, and you know, step by step, we've been improving and getting better, and, and we fully deserve it. So, uh, of course, there's that feeling. We've got one more to go. The job's not finished. Uh, it'll be a really tough game on Sunday, but uh, yeah, we can enjoy this and then prepare well tomorrow. It feels like England are getting better each round. You said to me many, many weeks ago, we're trying to peak at the right time at the tournament. Dare I say, that seems to be. Yeah, well, for sure, we're getting better each each round. I think the performances speak for themselves. I thought today was our best performance by far, and, and we fully deserved the win. And um, yeah, you know, there was a lot of talk early, and you know, understandably, because we wasn't playing as well as what we know we can. But ultimately, I said, judge us after the tournament, judge us when it's finished, and uh, we'll see where we're at. And uh, we've got to a final, we can be proud of that. But ultimately, that's not why we're here. We're here to, to win it, and, and we know Sunday will be tough against Spain. They're they're a great team. Uh, but yeah, we've got one more step to, to make history. Three knockout games, you've gone behind three times and come back and won three times. What does that say about the character on the side? Yeah, it shows the character, the resilience, everything we speak about, everything we spoke about before the camp that we're going to need to win a major tournament. And uh, yeah, we've been knocking it off, you know, going, going behind again. There was no panic, no calm. If anything, it made us step up our game even more. We got back into the game with a penalty and then from there, you know, it was us looking like we was going to nick the, the second goal. And it took to a special moment for Modi to, to do that. And we talk a lot about being together as a team, all 26 players being ready for their opportunity. You never know when it's going to come, whether it's a semi-final, a final, five minutes, one minute, be ready to take your chance. And Oli done that today, so I couldn't be prouder of him. Spain in the final, that will be the toughest challenge so far. How do you, how, how do you prepare for that? Yeah, it's tough. We, we, obviously, we fly back now to, to the camp and we, we'll have a quick turnaround. There's not much time to actually work on the pitch. So a lot of it will be in meetings. A lot of, a lot of it will be mental preparation. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you're in a final. Both teams are going to be physically tired because it's been a tough, tough journey. So it's just going to be about uh, mentally who gets it right and also just moments. You know, we've had moments in this tournament that have kept us in it and, and also pushed us over the line. And we're going to need that on Sunday if we want to be champions. Okay. Hey, Phil, huge congratulations. I mean, look, you've won so much in the game already as a young man. You're now in the final of a European Championships. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means everything. I feel like it's um, going to be my biggest game in my career, if you like. So, yeah, as you can see, the smile on my face, and I'm just looking forward to it. You were outstanding tonight. Did you think you scored when that one was cleared off the line? And what about that shot that you clipped the post as well? I mean, you couldn't have done much more to score tonight. Yeah, I was a little, a little bit unlucky tonight, I would say. Um, I was had a few close chances, but yeah, the, the main thing is obviously the, the team winning. And yeah, I feel like tonight was probably my best game in an England shirt. So, so yeah, I'm delighted. You said to us earlier on in this tournament that you're the Premier League player of the season. You wanted to go and show it. Do you feel like you're doing that? Now? I feel like the last two games have been improvements. Um, I feel like the position's helping me as well to get on the ball and get in dangerous areas so yeah like I said I was enjoying it out there tonight I was picking up spaces and look more like myself like, like I do for City you know finding it on the edge of the box and getting shots away so 
just enjoying my football. Talking through that emotion when Ollie Watkins scored, were you one of the players that was on the pitch? Mate, it was unbelievable, honestly. I couldn't believe it. Because it looked such a, a tight angle, and yeah, for him to score from there is yeah, unbelievable. You've one game away now from making history. I don't want to put the pressure on you, but yeah. you know what that will mean to this nation. You've lived as a football player yourself for so long. Yeah, definitely. We believe in our ability. Yeah, we know Spain's a fantastic team. The way they keep the ball, but we also know our strength. So, yeah, looking forward forward to it, and it will definitely change all our lives for sure. So, yeah. Cheers, thank you. For who? How tough is that to take? Very tough, very tough. Um, I see it in the extra time, you know, with the way also we've been playing the second half. I think we were quite good, obviously, against a very good England. We pushed them back, um, felt like we could score. Obviously, uh, you don't. And then it's uh, your dream. Our dreams come to an end, and it's very tough to take after such a demanding year um, and a tough tournament as well. But. Is the reality and is very disappointing. You look particularly frustrated with the referee's performance tonight. Yes. Anything else you would say specifically? I don't want to make it personal, I don't want to get you into trouble, but what specifically are you looking at? Certain decisions, but listen, I think referees can also make mistakes, but we speak about that we can communicate with the referee and we can do this and that. Obviously, when I got the yellow card, that was unnecessary, but you know. Certain decisions, you know, didn't go our way, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to put that blame in, in the in the fact that we lost the game. Obviously, it impacted the game a couple of times, and um, yeah, obviously everyone is trying to help the referees nowadays, um, but they also have to be accountable as well at times. It was a really open game, actually, wasn't it? A lot of chances on both sides. It, it felt a pretty even game. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, listen, you play against England with fantastic players uh, all over the pitch. Uh, they can make the, the difference and I think we did well. Um, obviously, after our goal, they got a bit of a, you know, upper hand, especially with the penalty incident. And um, yeah, it could have, could have gone both ways, but I felt like the second half was going to go our way, but listen. I can stand there and say all these things. We lost the game, we're out of the tournament, and that's the disappointment. Specifically about that penalty, are you and your teammates particularly angry about that, that it wasn't a penalty? I think there's many emotions going through at the moment, and I think the biggest emotion is that we're out of the tournament. And the decision has been made that it was a penalty. We have to accept that the VAR did it. I don't know what the VAR, by the way, but um, we have to move on. Unfortunately, we're out of it. and. Um, yeah, time for a break. We'll need a break. No, I should not need that. You guys can say all this stuff. I think that's that's for you guys to do. Yeah. Totally. yeah? Thank you, Virgil. Good luck. Are you happy that a referee who had been banned for match fixing was taking part in this semi-final? What do you want? You want me to get me in trouble? No, no, no but it, it was a talking point. Yeah, but well, he did our game against Romania, and I think that game he was all right. So yeah. you don't want to get me in trouble. That's for you guys to discuss. Yeah. I'm really sorry, my friend. How does that feel after that? Yeah, really disappointed. I think uh, we wanted to reach the final, but uh, yeah, you have, you have a great opening like, like England and in front of you. So yeah, they, they won and congrats to them. I suspect you will look back in your career at a very special goal on a big stage in the European Championship semi-final. That was a special moment. For you. Yeah, really special because uh, at the end, uh, the, the club, everything goes well, every goal go, goes fast. Uh, really happy and with my national team, uh, the start was really a little bit hard. But uh, I had my family in my back, I had my, my coach that had my back as well, my teammates. And with that, uh, I, I keep growing in and, and this tournament and yeah, luckily I could score today and really happy. You created all the chances, you hit the ball. Did you think the penalty that England got was a wrong decision? I don't know. I didn't see that. Uh, I will see it after. But yeah, the decision is made, and uh, we cannot uh, change nothing now. And, and uh, at the end, this is football. This is life. Uh, you fall, and then you have to get up and, and, and keep working on. How do you sum up the Netherlands tournament? Yeah, what I say with a lot of ups and downs. But at the end, we, we were here in the semi-final. And one thing for sure that I can say is uh, with all the 
the, the players that we have for the future, the next generation, plus the, the guys that have a little bit of experience, um, we're going we're gonna to achieve a lot of things, and that, that's for sure. Can I ask you finally about England? They go through to a final against Spain. Who do you see as favourites? I don't know. In the final, everything can happen. Uh, let the best win, and uh, we will see. Thank you.